Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.18 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use the not voltage method to calculate the power delivered by the dependent voltage source. Okay, the dependent voltage source is this one here in the circuit in figure T4.18. Okay, now let's see what can we do at first. Okay, I immediately see that this 10 ohm and 15 ohm resistor is in series. We have that is in series. This one, this one, and this one is in series. So we can just add up the resistor. So we will have this one here, maybe 10 plus 15, that will be 25 ohm. But then I want to make the bottom one shorted, right? How to make it shorted? Uh, maybe let's put some shapes in it. Mm. Yeah, let's put it like this. Is it okay? Yeah, I think that's good. And like this and like that. Okay, and we replace it by short circuit, right? And that is good. And let's set the bottommost node here as our ground. Because this is our ground, the voltage here is equal to zero. Okay, now maybe let's set the nodes here as node VA. Okay, and then this node here, because that is 80 volt from the ground, that will be 80, right? And then this is my minus 75 I sigma from the ground. So the node here will be minus 75 I sigma. Okay. Okay, that's all good. Now let's let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going to the right. This is going down. I just follow this arrow here. And then maybe let's let this part here goes to the right okay and now we can use kcl at node va let's do exactly that kcl at node va okay kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out right and so the only current that goes in is this one here that passed through this 5 ohm resistor. So we will have 80 minus VA divided by 5. Okay, that's good. And then this current is going out. So we will have VA minus 0, which is also VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 50. We'll have 50 here. And then we will have plus. We will have VA. Minus. We will have minus 75 I sigma. So we'll have minus 75 I sigma. Okay. And all of that needed to be, need to be divided by the resistance between them, which is 25. 25. Okay, that's good. Now maybe let's multiply both sides by 50. Yeah, I think 50 is good, right? Okay, multiplying this by 50 will result in 5 and 50 will cancel to 10. So we'll have 800 minus this will be 10 VA. And that will equal to 50 and 50 will cancel each other. So I will have just VA here. And 25 and 50 will cancel into 2. So we'll have plus. For this part, I will have 2 VA. Okay. And then this one, minus and minus become plus. And then plus multiplied by 2. Remember? that 25 and 50 is cancelled into 2. So I will have 2 multiplied by 75. So I will have plus 150i sigma. Okay, that's all good. Now maybe let's group all that. So I will have 800 
VA plus 2 VA, that will be 3 VA. 3 VA plus 10, that will be 13 VA. And we need to add them by 150 multiplied by I sigma. Okay. But then, if we see here, I sigma is this current here, which is VA minus 0 divided by 50. Okay, maybe let's substitute that. So, we will have 800 is equal to 13 VA plus 150. And then I sigma. Remember that I sigma is VA minus 0, which is also VA divided by 50. Okay, this 50 will cancel into 3. And we will have 800 is equal to 16 VA. And that will result as to have a very nice number, which is 50, I think. So we'll have 800 divided by 16. And so we will have VA is equal to 50. And the unit here will be 4. Okay, that will be VA. However, the question is not asked about uh, VA, but the power by this dependent voltage source. So, let's, let's analyze that. Okay, what can we get from here? So, remember that the power, the power is the voltage multiplied by the current, okay? And what is the voltage? The voltage is 75 I sigma. So, we have 75 I sigma. Okay. And the sign does not matter here because it is power. And then multiplied by the current. But the current here is VA plus 75 I sigma divided by 25. Okay. Okay, maybe let's... Let's cancel what can we cancel here. So we will have this cancelled into 3. And then, okay, what can we get from here? Uh, we will have 3. I sigma. Maybe let's calculate I sigma first here. Remember that I sigma is equal to VA divided by 50. What is VA? VA is 50. And... 50 here, so we will have I sigma is equal to 1 ampere. So we will have 3 here multiplied by I sigma, but I sigma is 1, so we'll have 1 here. And then multiplied by VA. VA is 50, so we will have 50 here, and we'll have plus 75 I sigma. But that will be 75 multiplied by 1. Okay, so we will have 3 multiplied by, this is 125. So the final answer is the power is 375. And the unit will be 1. And I think that is the final answer for this question. And that's all I think for this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.